Hello, beautiful soul family. Rebecca here, your vibe mentor, bringing you another video on how to raise your vibration so you can live your best life. What's up? Happy summer solstice. It's June 21st, 2022. And yet this video should be able to live on. Do you ever wonder what is the best way to celebrate the summer solstice? There are rituals and things that you can do to maximize the energy of what is available to us on this day. So first off, real quick, what is the summer solstice? The summer solstice in the northern hemisphere is when the sun is closest to the earth and the days are at their longest. And we will choose to see the positive in this, even though the days will start to get shorter. We have the peak or the height of the, the sunlight available to us, the daylight available to us on this day. This is the longest day of the year. So it, what is it good for? What, what does this day represent? So being that we are at maximum light, maximum sun, it also means maximum abundance. It is a boost in vitality. There is ample healing and growth energy available to us. And it is a perfect time to step into the gratitude for the harvest that is about to come. We have ended a cycle and this begins a new one. So it is a celebration of both what has been and what will come. So how do you celebrate the summer solstice? Here are 11 suggestions on how to maximize the energy that is available to us today, how to celebrate the beautiful, amazing sun and light that we have been gifted by our beautiful creator, and to integrate as much of the um, growth and healing and abundance energy that is available to us at a bodily cellular core level, right? So number one, first and foremost, as with many things, gratitude, gratitude for the light, Gratitude for the warmth, for the healing, the nurturing, the love, the support, all that the sun offers us. Number two, observe both the sunrise as well as the sunset if you can. It's a perfect time for sun gazing. Allow the light to penetrate your eyes and your body. Sunlight directly in your eyes, especially first thing in the morning, is excellent for all of the growth and the healing and repair processing that needs to happen in the body. It increases all of our happy hormones when we have direct bright light into our eyes as soon as we wake up. So roll out of bed at sunrise, go outside and watch that sunrise. Allow the soft light to hit your eyes as it rises. That is sun, sunrise and uh, sunset are great times for sun gazing so that you're not damaging your eyes uh, before the sun gets too high and too bright. Number three, sunbathing, which it's the heat of the summer here for us, um, a perfect time, 90, 95 degrees today. Um, so we will be at the pool, poolside, sunbathing, enjoying the warmth of the sun, recharging and healing our body. So think about what the sun does for plants. It does the same for our bodies. It helps us heal and grow and re-energize. So soak up the renewal that the sun has to offer you by laying in the sun. Meditation or yoga, number four, of course, goes without saying, but let's take it outside. Let's do it in the sun. Sit and meditate for a while before and after your yoga session. Flow with the energy. Allow yourself to tune into the music of the day and really feel out the energetic flow of what is being brought to you in that moment. Be present and in the body and allow your awareness to open yourself up to the healing and growth that is available to you. Number five is something a bit more traditional, flower crowns. So this is a, a very traditional way to celebrate, especially in Europe, but creating crowns or necklaces out of whatever herbs and flowers are available, what's ripe and prime right now. And it allows us to just celebrate Mother Earth and all that the sun brings us when it warms and heals and, and grows uh, beauty out of the dirt for us. Another fun thing we can do, number six, is create a sun catcher. So you can use some paper, you can use colored paper, you can use plastics, whatever you have available to you, reduce, reuse, recycle, um, and make something that is going to reflect the sun or bring more of the sun into your home. 
and this can be a beautiful way to use crystals as well. I absolutely love having a coarse crystal hanging in a window that's going to catch some sunlight and cast some rainbows, bringing in the light um, from the outside. Number seven is have a bonfire. We're celebrating the element of fire through the celebration of the sun and the solstice. So get a fire going and remember that we are honoring in gratitude the element of fire, the element of heat and how it has brought us life and nurtures us. Number eight, burn incense. Again, kind, kind of tying back into the celebration of what has been made available to us or what is growing right now. And I love to use herbs like um, lavender or frankincense, fennel and rose. They can be beautiful, amazing smells. Um, sage always works if that's all you have, um, but to bring in the element of that which was created by the sun's growth and warmth. Number nine is tend to your garden or plant a garden if you don't have one. Of course, there's always the added benefit of grounding and connecting with Mother Earth, um, but picking berries or picking fruit or any ripe vegetables that happen to be ready to be picked right now um, is another way of honoring and recognizing the gifts that the sun has brought to us. Strawberry season is in full swing here. I don't know about you in your area, but pick your own strawberries can be amazing this is a perfect day in fact oddly enough we wanted to go on sunday but they were closed and they happened to reopen today so how about that it has been said that a strawberry is better picked in the morning or the evening because of the heat of the sun of the day yet the tradition would suggest that picking it at the peak of the day actually allows you to capture the most light and nutrients from the sun so depending on what your pick your own strawberry patch is going to allow you to do um, and of course what is right for you and your needs around the heat so pick a strawberry pick a berry at any time um, and just remember to do it with an intention number 10 is throw a party get everybody together the more the merrier right the the where i love the the phrase where two or more are gathered there i am and we are amplifiers of each other and so as we gather together all with the intention of celebrating the gifts that we have been given and having gratitude for the harvest that is to come, we can amplify our gratitude and therefore our abundance and our healing and our growth and expansion and all the things that we intend to expand and be grateful for. And number 11 is it's kind of like a new year. So I am not a proponent of New Year's resolutions, but I do like to have goals. I do like to have plans and I also find it very valuable to be reflective of the past year or so to look at the growth, look at the progress that you have made. And so be sure to take some time to look back at what has this last year looked like for you? How far have you come? Consider how much you have grown and really give yourself credit for the, the massive impact that you're making, not only in your lives, but collectively as you raise your vibration, that you are raising all boats with your tide. And it is important to have gratitude for where we have been and how much we've accomplished, as well as to consider how much things will change and how, how many things will we be able to accomplish, achieve, create, um, somehow the words accomplishment and achievement for an Aries Capricorn actually has started to have a negative connotation, but rather consider the growth that will be available to you, the ascension, the leveling up. And if you are a person for goals, then go ahead. Um, but of course, I am talking a lot recently around releasing judgment, expectation, um, and, and general resistance. So be careful if you do set goals um, to be open to whatever the divine has for you, knowing that the plan that he, she, it, they, them considers um, or creates is far greater than anything you could ever fathom. So set your intention for the divine's plan. How about that? All right, and that is it. That is my 11 tips for how to celebrate the summer solstice. I hope you have a beautiful, amazing day and enjoy this beautiful, amazing energy. And I will see you on the next video. Take care, my friends. Namaste. Oh, and please do drop me a comment. Say hello. Say happy solstice. Solstice. Holstice. <laughs> That's fun. Wholeness on the solstice. Um, <laughs> because it does help the YouTube al algorithm and I really appreciate your support. Um, also like, subscribe, and share, and do click this button if you would like to be notified of the next video that comes out. All right, take care. Namaste, my friends.